and welcome to Spilled Ink from Addict to Author. My name is Charlotte Brewster and if you have not done so yet, take a minute to subscribe. Hit the button below and hit the notification bell too so you know when the next episode is coming out. Now, let's get started. Let's spill some ink. I love saying that. Oh my God. Okay, so today is not an official episode. All right. Today is like story time. I talk a lot about the experiences leading up to me becoming an author, but today I want to tell you about one experience of me actually having my first experience <laughs> of being an author. Right. I remember the first book I ever wrote. Um, it was very. It was set in like high school. It was very teen drama y, okay? I know I was younger than 13, so in my mind, this is all that happened, okay? Mm-hmm. And um, the it, they had a quarterback. He was the boyfriend of the head of the cheerleading squad. And there was also the good girl that wasn't part of the in crowd, and she wanted to be part of the in crowd. So at that time, that was the basis of all the stories that I've ever read. So that's where I wrote from. Um, but the thing here is that it turned out that the antagonist was actually the one, the girl that was not the popular girl. You know, I didn't want to write something where she was the coming out the hero. I wanted to write it from a really different perspective. And it was a little bit risky because, I mean, none of the books that I read did the in crowd people ever have been, right? But in this book, they did. But there was a lot of slammed lockers, lots of um, cheating, which is like kissing behind the bleachers. It was, it was very teen drama, okay? Um, I remember I gave it to my English teacher, and she read it. And she commended me on the twist with the with with with, with the not so popular girl being the protagonist and the, actually the head of the cheerleading squad she was the I'm sorry the not so popular girl being the antagonist and the and the popular girl being the protagonist she was she commended me on that little twist and I also remember there was a lot a lot of grammatical errors I mean a lot I'm very oddly placed words I literally wrote it the way I should spoke and I spoke in slang a lot um but it was an experience it was beautiful to get the feedback and at that time I feedback didn't scare me you know I just wrote this book give it to my teacher here you go she talked to me oh okay cool and that was it I mean, as we go on, though, as writers, we know that feedback can kind of sting. And if I was in that frame of mind, the frame of mind that I'm in now, and heard the criticism I got then, especially the grammatical stuff, it would be like, no. But all in all, after she gave it a good read and we talked about the grammar and stuff like that, she said to me, you never stop writing. Don't ever stop telling the stories that come from from you, from your mind, from your creativity. And she told me, and I love the fact that you did it with a different point of view, always right from a different point of view. Um, it gives the story a good edge. Um, as time went on, obviously that stuck with me, but I also understand too the value of a traditional point of view as well, depending on where you're writing, right? But, um, but yeah, that advice propelled me a lot. And that experience was beautiful. And since then, I just kept writing. I didn't continue writing books, but poetry and spoken word were my go-tos. And I kept telling stories in a shorter form, a more rhythmic form. And then um, circled right back around to authorship and had my first published book, which was Apple's Perfect Picnic. Um... So yeah, that's it. That's the story of my first experience writing a full book. Um, So that's the end of this little segment. I'm hoping, not hoping, let's change our words, okay? I am doing little short segments in between episodes in order to shorten the length of time that we get to connect here. I mean... 
We don't want to go that long without having a good, you know, spilled informatic author. Come on now. So I'm going to tell little stories on actually being an author um, in between. And I, as always, I hope it was entertaining. I hope that you have found value in something that I have shared today. And I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of Spilled Ink from Addict to Author. Remember, subscribe, subscribe subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.